everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to show you how to log in to Adobe Analytics. So here I am on an Experience Cloud login page. And this is the way that you should log in to any of the solutions in the Experience Cloud, including Analytics. So first, just go to experiencecloud.adobe.com and that will land you here. I'll reload that. And that will land you here on this login page. Now, the best thing you can do is to sign in with an Adobe ID. So if I click on that, that'll bring you here to a page where you can sign in. Now, put your email address in here. And as soon as I put that in, it's actually going to give me an option here of either my personal account or an enterprise account, an enterprise ID account. Now, it's possible that your company or your school, your organization has set this up to do an enterprise ID, which means uh, you'd be able to click on this and it would log you right in because you're already logged into your company or your school or whatever. But it's probably more likely that you will need to use your personal ID on this, your personal account. So this is your Adobe ID, which in other words, if you were to go to log in on the public website, even to the Creative Cloud or anything else, you'd be able to use this Adobe ID. So as you go in here, you can put in your password and click sign in. And this will take you to the home page, basically, for the Experience Cloud. Now, again, all that is assuming that somebody has set you up as a user and potentially maybe even sent you an email that the system has sent you an email, and you can even click on that. And that could even just take you right into this process as well. But again, you should be able to land on this Experience Cloud homepage. If you don't have a login or you can't get that far, then you'll want to talk to the person at your organization that is in charge of the analytics or the experience cloud to get them to set you up with a login. If you are the main person and you don't have a login and you haven't been sent the credentials to log into the experience cloud, then you'll need to talk to your representative at Adobe. So let's assume that you made it this far. Well, I do want to point out some really cool stuff here, and that is that you can use these links to either get more information or take you to specific places. You can see here with the admin console, which is where you're going to control your user management, right, permissions to get into analytics and other solutions. So you can go into the admin console by clicking Take Me There. You can learn more about the admin console you can learn more about setting up an identity or user management, all those kinds of things, and as well as some of these other things down here like the GDPR UI and the report suite mapping tool and some of these other things you'll learn about later that you'll need. We have some quick links down here. So in any case, let's just assume that you have made it this far and maybe you don't need to look at those. They're there for you and it's great info and there's actually more than one page of these, as you can see, getting started and those kinds of things. So go ahead and explore any of these. Uh, in the meantime, let's get into analytics because that's why we started this video in the first place. <laughs> so you'll want to go up to this nine dots here, which we call the solution switcher. And if you click on that, you will be able to see which solutions you have access to. If you just have analytics, maybe that's all you bought. So that you'll just have analytics here that is available to you. And you can see that there's a difference that the ones that are highlighted are the ones that I have access to. So you can see I have access to analytics, audience manager, social, and target, experience cloud, and even experience platform, and some of these links over here. But I don't have access to some of these other ones here that are kind of grayed out. So for example, if I click on campaign, it's just going to give me a little note here to say, learn more about buying campaign. So I don't need that. So we'll go back in and we're going to click on analytics. And that will take me right into what we call the reports and analytics interface. And if no report suites have been created yet, then it might take you to another 
location in order to create one or it might give you a link to do so. In any case, uh, it'll bring you into the analytics interface and then you can click around to the things you need. And I'll show you around in this interface in another video, but hopefully that helps you log in and understand how to get into Adobe Analytics. And if you're an end user, then it's likely that you'll just click right up here on Workspace and go over and start analyzing the data from your site. But again, in any case, that's how you log in and good luck.